Yo, what is good, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, is the day. Today is weigh-in day. Yes. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So let's get on that scale and let's see how much weight I've lost or whatever. Okay, so this is definitely a moment of truth. Oh. Oh my God, I have lost a total of eight pounds in one week. Oh my God, I am so excited. Now I know, I know most of that is gonna be water weight. The first week is always the most water weight. However, that's still eight pounds off my body, woo! Yes, oh my God, I'm ready for a cheeseburger. Just kidding. Anywho, along with this weigh-in video, I decided that I'm going to do a what I eat in a day on keto. So let's get started with my breakfast because I'm starving. As I've already mentioned, this is the brand of tortillas that I use. It's called Olay Extreme Wellness. Now, you guys, I was mistaken in my video yesterday when I said uh, that these were only one gram of carbs. I do apologize. Um, this has 16 carbohydrates. However... It has 11 grams of fiber. So the way you count your net carbs is you deduct your fiber from your uh, carbohydrates, which leaves five net grams of carbs. So each tortilla is five carbohydrates, which is, is good for me. I allow myself on this uh, lifestyle change, I allow myself anywhere from 20 to 30 carbohydrates in a day just because I'm a bigger guy and I'm just starting off. The more weight that I start to lose, the lower I'm gonna cut back on the carbs. Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, all I did was heat it up on the stove and I took Simply Jif, you guys. This is lo the lowest carb uh, peanut butter that I found at the store. It's called Simply Jif, low sodium and 33% less sugar. It has seven grams of carbs and three fiber. When you deduct that, it leaves four grams of carbohydrates for two tablespoons. I only used one on my tortilla. So this right here is seven grams of carbs. And to wash it down, I have an Atkins strawberry shake. This is only one gram of carbs. Total for my breakfast, eight grams of carbs. So let's see. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yup. And this is a strawberry flavor, that's my favorite. Mmm, oh my god! <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my breakfast and I will be back with lunch. <laughs> Ready for lunch. You guys, this is a new little spot that Diane told me about. It's called Salad on the Go. Look at the line, you guys. Look at this, it wraps around. It's a little drive through place. It's kind of like a subway of salads. They make all your salads to order. Look at how cute. So thank you to the bestie. She is uh, treating me and my mom to this lunch. She's at work, but she's like, I want you to try this place. She zelled me some money and she's like, it's on me today. So I'm so excited. See the little sign I hear says, we're not a restaurant, we're a revolution. <clears throat> you guys, this place, all their salads are around $5.72. They used to be over $7, but they said um, a way to keep their prices low and uh, affordable is word of mouth. Get more people to come here and uh, spread the word. The more people that come here, the cheaper their prices are. On the website, it does say that their goal uh, is to get their salads to $5.10, I believe, um, with, with growth. Their little sign, it says, working our way to all salads with chicken or organic tofu from $7.18 to $5.74. So their salads used to be $7.18, they are now $5.74. So, 
and they're working to make it even cheaper as their website says. Another little rule they have is have your payment ready, request no fork or napkin, and bring your own bag. This helps them keep their prices low and eventually lower the prices even more. They have fresh brewed organic coffee and fresh brewed organic teas uh, for a dollar. So let's see. Hi, what can I get side for you? Uh, hi, uh, may I have two of your cob salads, please? Any chicken, steak, shepherd, or chocolate on the cobs? Um, not today, just whatever comes with it. What else can I get for you? And can I have two of your large um, organic iced teas? They are un un uh, sweetened, right? Two black teas? Yeah, uh, they are unsweetened. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll take two of those, please. Okay. And um, I'll go ahead and do what the sign says. No fork or napkin, please, or bag. Of course. Thank you so much. Two black teas with two cop salads, and then no bag or fork. It's 14 and 64. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, you guys, so like I said, this place is called Salad on the Go, and it is so cute. I really believe in their cause. Like, they are trying to have us eat healthier, uh, organic, and more clean. This is clean eating. Um, because I am on keto, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to enjoy these tomatoes. Um, because they do have a lot of sugar. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And trust me, my mom's going to handle those. I don't want to turn this into a big mukbang or anything. But I do want to let you guys know. I'm just going to explain this and take a couple bites. And then we'll move on for the day. So all of their dressings are made in-house. They have Chipotle Ranch, uh, vinaigrettes. This is the chunky blue cheese. Uh, this salad. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Oh! Oh! That is good. So the website has nutrition facts for all these salads. This salad, I believe, had 15 carbohydrates, but 9 grams of fiber, which leaves me with 6 carbohydrates for lunch. We had 8. Uh, for breakfast. So, so far, we are under our carbohydrate budget. I'm at 14 carbs for the day. So this has avocado, bacon, eggs, green onions, uh, blue cheese crumbles, and whatever else. Anywho, let me take a couple bites and I'll tell you the verdict. Oh my God. Wow. Mmm. That avocado. How's your salad, ma? I haven't done it. Mmm. Mmm. Some egg. Wow. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. I will see you guys around snack time and then dinner after that. Hey, you guys. So. It is a couple hours before dinner time. Normally I would have one of those like healthy, um, carb smart, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're, they're low carb yogurts. They have like one or two grams of carbs per little yogurt cup. They sell it at Fry's, Kroger, um, or I would have like a sugar-free Jello, but I'm, I'm literally still so full from the salad that I had for lunch. So I think I'm gonna do what you guys uh, recommended me to do, which is drink some pickle juice, um, just for the heck of it. So, uh, my favorite pickles are Mrs. Klein's hot dill pickles. So, let's see. Uh, mm. uh, oh my god! Oh my god! That is so good. Woo! That's hot. Oh, my intestines finna feel that later tonight. Anywho, um, so I will see you guys around dinner time. Hey, you guys, it is officially dinner time. I just heated up one of those Olay um, 
uh, tortillas and I'm eating my leftover fajitas from my video yesterday. So that's that. To be honest, well, hold on. Let me add some sour cream to this bad boy. Cannot go wrong with no sour cream. I'm so upset that I cannot find my mom's homemade salsa. So I'm gonna have to stick with a little bit of my favorite, the Black Label Valentina. So we about to just put a little drizzle. That's good. But yeah, you guys, I am like, you guys won't believe me, but I am still so full from the salad from lunch. And that was several hours ago, like over three, four hours ago. Um, so that's why I'm just gonna eat this little burrito with a couple of um, spicy pork rinds. So these are a great keto friendly snack. If you're in the mood for chips, this is the way to go. This definitely, this definitely satisfies your cravings for chips. They're nice and crunchy and they're made of pork skin. So there's zero carbohydrates. Anyway, this is my dinner. And for dessert, I'm gonna have one of these uh, sugar-free popsicles. They come in orange, cherry, and grape. So this is my dinner and dessert, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bite of my fajita burrito. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. All right. So this concludes my day of eating. And I pretty much eat the same every day. Not the same food, but the same um, amount. I have three meals and I'll have a snack or two in between and it's been working for me. So yeah, I just wanna say to all of you that are doing a lifestyle change and trying to get healthier, either you know for aesthetic purposes or just for your overall health i commend you guys for taking that step it takes a lot of willpower a lot of cojones to get started on something like this it is not an easy task and i will tell you this that we need to be there for each other every step of the way to support one another the bga crew is a strong group of amazing people and Honestly, right now, I'm going to give a shout out to Bethany B. Love. Thank you so much for re-inspiring, reigniting my motivation to start keto. When you were here, we discussed, you know, the keto and how, how much weight you've lost and what you've done. And that truly, truly motivated me. So, Bethany, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me that motivation again. I am super pumped. And to all of you, we got this. We can do it. Let's do it together, you guys. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you to the BGA crew. If you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.